Welcome to Road America Pirelli Challenge 2018. I'm here with uh, Michael Christensen, fresh off his win at the 24 Hour Le Mans. Welcome, Michael. Thank you. It's really good to have you. Uh, how, how was your week this week after the race? Was it worse than the race? <laughs> no, it's been really, no, it's been better. The day after the race was definitely uh, one of the best days in my life, I think, just realizing that what you have actually done. Because after the race, you just, you just, you're happy, of course, because you know that it went well, but you don't really get the emotional feel yet at that point because you're tired, I guess. Uh, of course, it would be nice to have it like that straight away, but the day after, it just sinks in a bit better, and uh, you're like relaxed and yeah, just enjoying yourself. And so yeah, the last couple of yeah, the last week basically has been great for me, and just realizing also having all the messages and the people um, being kind and congratulating me with what happened and yeah it's just been a great week lots of beer lots no, of german beer uh, or just, a little bit? Yeah, on the sunday evening yes <laughs> but uh, then but then uh, no that's not back that. back to business back to business yes. and and now we're here at road america and this is pretty exciting i mean but it's a big difference from being at le mans last week and having to plan and strategize for a 24-hour race you're here yeah. having to race a 50-minute race yeah. big difference huh yeah, it's definitely a big difference. Um, just everything about it. You know, the Le Mans race and event is just something else uh, than any other race that I that I do over the year. Uh, and I think in any and any other driver, it's just a different event. It's just uh, something special. And um, so, for sure, just that is, just makes it quite a different approach to the race itself. And then just being a 50-minute race instead of a 24-hour race is uh, also a very different approach, of course. Different car different type of track everything is different but yeah I like it well I mean you said yesterday it was funny because you mentioned that you slept really well mm -hmm. during the race last weekend yeah it, did you normally do that or uh, I mean depends depends I'm not sure I can't really tell what that makes the difference uh, sleeping well or not for sure we have good uh, good facilities to to recover uh, that's for sure um, but I, I think maybe just I was really confident in my own uh, abilities and, and what I had to perform and uh, what else and, and uh, of course my teammates being confident in that, them too makes you I guess more relaxed and I was able to, to recover well and, and slept like probably the best races in terms of sleep I've ever had so <laughs> that was great. Well and the other thing was too is the big deal was the, the retro look and, and it was just really exciting to see that you know the, the pink pig uh, such great memories of that car in the 70s and here you are how did that all come about and, and take place uh, you know with the retro with the Rothmans car well it was just uh, as you say I thought, I thought it was quite a, a great uh, move from Porsche's side to, to do this especially this year as it's, it's the 70th anniversary year of Porsche broadcast so uh, it was good good reason to, to do something like that and uh, yeah these two cars is uh, iconic liveries from the past are very well known um, and to be part of that was just great I mean just to be able to drive an iconic race livery like that in a Porsche works car was already special uh, but yeah I guess it all happened just because the marketing people were creative and and uh, we have this 70 years of uh, anniversary of Porsche World Cup, so yeah I guess that's how it happened well, and, you know, Michael is from Denmark, and, you know, everybody associates Tom Christensen, no relation, no. and, uh, you know, Mr. Lamont, nine-time winner, and, you know, I mean, he was in the booth, and I actually watched some of, you know, him standing behind you and giving you a little plug there, and it, it's really cool to see, you know, you coming and, you know, having such a good race, and and winning yeah. for Porsche and uh, the one thing though with uh, Michael he has one up on Tom already uh, he uh, won the 24-hour Daytona last year with Carlos with Allegri Racing and uh, how does that feel <laughs> now I mean I think you guys probably put that in the, the, the watch in the background right now or yeah for sure you know it, like last year was uh, a great year for me just just do today, Tona really. Uh, I had a good year also in WC and all other good races in IMSA with the Allegro Motorsports. But you know everything uh, comes to, to the race at Daytona. You know it, 
that was the highlight. It was the first race of the year, but also the highlight of the, highlight of the year. As it's a, it's diff just a difficult race to win. High competition, everyone is going there to win uh, with a lot of effort. Uh, so yeah, it's a it's a career goal I think for most most sports car drivers. Uh, so to get that one last year was great, of course, and uh, and to put that on the CV is already yeah. Then you have done that kind of thing, and uh, yeah, for sure you want to do more of that, but. Um, yeah, well, to put it in perspective, it's just going out and, and winning the biggest. I mean, it's like winning the Super Bowl of racing. Yeah. I mean, no. basically. But yeah, having the Tona Sebring and Le Mans on the CV now is, is of course, uh, just what I wanted, you know, just what I dreamed of. And uh, and now it's like, well, there's no bigger race than, than Le Mans for me to win, as you said. So uh, it's just about what are you going to do now? What is the next goal? For me, it's, it's, it, it's a championship, it's a world championship in the WEC. Uh, that's that's the next thing. Uh, we are doing well. We're leading at the moment. Me and Kevin Estre in the 92 car. Uh, so we're on the way, but uh, for sure there's a long way to go. Um, and, uh, but next goal is definitely that. Well, and it's a big year this year with Porsche's 70th year and Rensport being later this year. This is going to be a big deal. Yeah. And is the Pink Pig going to be at that? Uh, I. I I don't know. I don't know, but I can't tell. I think uh, right. so. I'm just gonna keep it quiet for now. Uh, if it's where and where not, uh, it's gonna happen with the pink pig. Um, I would love it to be everywhere to show it to everyone uh, and maybe even drive it. That would be great, uh, as it's uh, yeah something big for myself. Uh, what happened in my career? So that would so, be good. So, so that would be a dream of mine to do again. Something right. Like what about the uh, pink pig about driving? Was there some sort of bet that if you guys did win, that well, we you did. could drive the 917 <laughs> Pink Pig? That is somehow. Uh, we, we spoke with Frank Vallis uh, about that exact thing when we chose the livery back in February. Uh, that if we did well, would we then get to drive this uh, 917 20 Pink Pig? Uh, and he said, yeah, of course, we're going to make you up. If you're going to win, we're going to do that for you. Okay, good. Then this on Sunday on the party, Lawrence Vento, my teammate, uh, made it clear for for Frank that we actually had an agreement. And then Frank was like, "Oh well, I guess we have to do something about it." Then so we'll see. But uh, I, I'm quite confident that we we might get a shot on that. That's great. Yeah. Well, it's great. Well, we we'll really enjoy having you here at Road America, especially after winning the Super Bowl and <laughs> and coming here. And we wish you all the luck today. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow, it's two races this weekend at Road America, and it's a big year. And thanks a lot for being here. Yes, thank you very much. Thank I'm you. Thanks.